Okay, mission two of our continuing playthrough of a campaign of Storm Above the Reich. <laughs> no, campaign. I gotta say, I've attempted this game twice before and uh, videotaped it. And in both times, I was unable to even get past the first season. So, <laughs> very short campaigns usually. Um, but... Not too bad right now. Uh, our first mission, if you were watching that one, we actually managed, with only two fighters in the box here, we were able actually to take down a bomber and gain a victory point. One of the ten we need over six missions. So we have five missions to earn nine victory points. So, without any further fluff, let's set up mission two. And our magic, uh, das dice boot. Mm-hmm. 1943 early season. First, we must have a map. And we roll. A three. We'll spit up map six. Already there. Not a problem. Now, the question is, what kind of mission is it? We roll here. One is... Oh, neat. Well, yes, kind of neat. Inbound. Inbound. It means that any bombers we shoot down will be worth two victory points instead of one. Basically, the idea is we're taking them down with a full load of bombs, I guess, and they're not dropped on their targets, so we've saved a lot of people a lot of hassle and done more damage to the enemy. So two victory points for every bomber we take down. Now for our operational point roll. Always nervous on this one. <laughs> nine. Oh, I like a nine. Uh, not that great here because it's only four. I didn't get the, I, you need ten for the full eight. But we'll live with four. It's going to end up being six with the operation, uh, the um, vector map. So six points we have to spend. I do need to spend them now. And snap. All right, I've gone with this. Two, four, FW-190s. Bring in my expert flyer and my expert wily guy for dogfighting. And uh, Nockin, he got our first kill of the season. So keep our stars around. Uh, Ehlers was able to, just got shot down last time, but was able to bail out and learn an experience point. And uh, he's ready to get back on the saddle. In the saddle, I guess it were. And bring in four Italians. Uh, basically with the idea that they're all going to get peeled off <laughs> in the vector map because that's what always happens. Just whole chunks of them just gone. Really, really irritating. Okay, so, all right. Let's continue to set up. I'm going to go ahead and roll the escort. Now, it's supposedly more suspense if you wait until the first turn of the X. But you know what? It's just more random, and there's just... Enough randomness in this game, so let's just roll the escort and, and be done with it. Seven on an inbound is a light escort of P-38s. Uh, that, when it's inbound, uh, they're already there. They're going to be present at the beginning and leave on turn six. Oh, uh, one detail I forgot. Uh, this guy got injured last time on the staff erosion table. But the rules specifically state, and since we're going by sequence of play, that before you start the next mission, you can roll to see if he becomes unwounded. And you need a 9 or a 10 to do so. Hey, there you go. He's back in the fold. So, now our escort, like I said, our escort is a light escort. So it's going to be five of these guys. Give him a little shuffle here. I haven't really looked at him anyway. You don't need too much of a shuffle. One, two, three, four, five. All right. Here's our little escort display. And we have to roll on this chart up here. Yeah, where can I? Where can you see the die? Yeah, it all sticks. But oh, a ten. A ten is all of them. Oh, I like this roll. They're all in below trailing. That is sort of the best place for them, uh, as far as we're concerned, as far as my staff is concerned, because that's, you know, I, I don't know how to explain it. So we go to our map, this is map six inbound situation. 
Uh, called situation book. What do you call it? Situation manual. Okay. And we're gonna roll to see uh, it's like if there's any predetermined damage here. And three, only one. This one is going to have some damage on him. And so where's my damage cup? And we draw wing, which uh, they could be destroyed if we roll a nine or better. Two, no, so it's just uh, two points on the wing. Okay. Got reasonable target to me. Let us roll to see if this is anchored, this formation. Uh, three is level and low. And that's on the two to four o'clock flank. You know, I've, I haven't seen this before. And that is where it's anchored in two spots and it covers. So <laughs> this back fl flag, this area is not so uh, good for us. Anyway, back to our situation. And we got the sun, five on the sun. Puts the sun at the, the high tail mark. So we go over here. This is a good spot to come out of the sun. Well, we might have to exploit that. That is a good place for the sun. Uh, I almost prefer the nose, but uh, that's not bad. All right, tactical points. Die roll four, five. Uh, that wasn't so, such a hot roll there. That's only two tactical points. One, two. Uh, flight limit. Nine. Wow. Uh, will be a nine turn. Well, oops, I forgot one thing. We're doing the vector map, so that's do do two more points. And the flight limit will be a, f what do we say? Uh, nine is nine. Nine is nine. Uh, plus two makes it an 11 turn mission. Okay. To the skies, gentlemen. Live to fly. Fly to live. We're going to take off in two groups. Italians in one group, Germans in the other. And into the sky we go. We reach the far zone approaching this box. And now we must roll for trouble. <laughs> or as one uh, guy puts it, uh, roll to see if you go to college. Yes, this vector map is sometimes, uh, with some justification, considered the game of life here. <laughs> uh, so our first roll, coming up right here. I'm going to find out if separating between Italians and Germans was a good idea or not. We roll a 12, our fan of the malfunction. And so, up here... Mm, Gonna take an Italian. Yep, of course. My cannon fodder, <laughs> as I put it. And me, Miles, the rest of the group moves closer and closer. But they gotta roll this thing again. And so. Okay, a five, not so hot. Uh, that could be worse. I didn't want to be intercepted by a whole bunch of stuff. But first we have Garble. Uh, place a delay marker or minus one T TP. Uh, I don't mind being delayed a little bit because uh, that'll mean the escorts will uh, disappear sooner. So delay, delay. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna get a P38. Uh, intercepting us, escorts, uh, and so. Oh, the nice thing about that, however, is that it comes from this pile down here, meaning there'll be one less if we, when and if, well, yeah, big if, if we get to the box, so there's one in there. Okay. All right, our Italians lure the P-38 squadron by giving them the fingers and going, la Napoli, and so. Here they come. We're going to assign them to that group. We find out... Oh, wait a minute. First, we can attempt to evade. They will attempt to evade by rolling a nine or higher. Let's see if we can't manage that. It would be really nice. It means we'll have some more planes to fight with. Four. Eh? Nothing doing. 
Okay, well, now we gotta see if they will have an attitude, altitude advantage by hopefully rolling a seven or higher. Nine, okay, so they will have an, an altitude advantage, so small favors. What do we got? What's coming up on our tail here? Oh, we can manage this. Good, good, we're gonna outnumber them and be higher than them. Okay, let's look at the chart. Uh, the MC202s are not as good as the F190s, we knew that, but we are at the top column here. Roll them. Oh, we rolled the worst, <laughs> the worst result possible. All right, all right, so one Italian is destroyed. Going down in flames. Uh, the bailout doesn't matter. We'll just roll it anyway, just so you know what happened to him. Uh, he was wounded, so he didn't die. He bailed out, but was wounded. Uh, but his plane is destroyed. That is gonna shoot, deduct a penalty from our operational points and our staffel experience points. That really stinks, but the good news is he draws off these guys, because his value is two, and the one that is destroyed, and I've read this specifically in the rules, the one that is destroyed does count towards the battle value. So that is going to eliminate this escort, even though we lost the plane. And it's affecting it. Oh, I better write this down so I remember. So that's the penalty for rolling terrible, really terrible. Okay, so we move in. Whoa, guys, stay in formation. All right. Uh, is that the flyer one? Yes, it is. Okay. And they're going into the approach zone, and we get one more go to college roll uh, on this top one, though. However, which could also be potentially quite annoying. It it doesn't get any better. <laughs> okay, here we go. Two dice. Twelve. Twelve is. Oh, interesting results all around. Let's take a look. Let's resolve the radio first. All right, so looking for odds or evens. Ah, it's an odd. So, one group, and we're gonna go ahead with the Italians and give them a delay marker, and we're gonna lose a tactical point. We're down to three, so be it. Um, the other thing we have is there is a straggler bomber. That's cool. We might have some points on the board we can get rid of. We can scoop up. So we're gonna put a bomber here, like so. But unfortunately, we do have a P-38 coming in. So we grab another from the escort box, put them up here. And once again, we're going after the Italians. And what else do we got? And once again, the Italians will attempt an evasion. Seven. Nope, nothing doing. How about an altitude advantage, please? Sure, why not? What are we, what are we up against now? Oh, full six. Oh, that's no good. Okay. So, the Italians are higher than the P-38s, but... The P-38s outnumber them, so we're on this second column right here. Looking for a big, nice high roll, so it's not so disastrous as last time. Eight. Well, eight's all right. Well, it's still bad news. One Italian is going to break off, like so. And the other one, because we did not meet this value, is going to be killed. And that is, once again, going to slam into my operational points. And in fact, I've wiped out all my experience Staffel points. Oh boy. <laughs> um, starting to believe it may be better to not bring these auxiliaries. Um, because they're just chewing into my operational points. I'm not looking forward to mission three at all with a minus two to begin with. Okay. But, oh, I forgot to roll for this bomber straggler. Uh, let's one die. That is an even, that means he's gonna have two damage markers on him. Let's take a look at what these are. Let me back it up here and get my box of goodies. And I believe you ignore the uh, catastrophe numbers on here. There's uh, some on the wing. 
Yes, we ignored the uh, catastrophe number. Mm, and finally, we have... Oh, an engine one. Oh, I like that one. Even though it's for zero, but it will give us some tactical points. Okay, so we have one with two damage on it. And the question becomes, do we send someone to kill him? And we do. We are going to send Ehlers, who automatically intercepts the straggler. So, we'll put the damage on the engine here, which actually yields up two tactical points. Uh, a shot on the wing here. And first we're going to see if it goes down just from this. So we need a 7 or 10 to destroy it here. Uh, where's my dice? Roll! One. Nope. And the pilot, everyone can bail out here if we hit a 10. We do! Wow! Okay. Down it goes. Oh, just to remind you, uh, strictly on the um, sequence of play, you're supposed to roll for the sun first. Yeah, whatever. So let's say he uh, rolled for the sun. Uh, what was it? A, I forget what it was. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Um, he only rolled a one. And it was terrible. So there would have been no sun. But the next roll would have been a ten on the wing. Yeah, okay. So it's 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 the same thing. So it ends up being destroyed. So the Stoffel will turn earn two experience points. The we will earn two victory points because this is all inbound. Uh, unfortunately, Ehlers is not going to earn any experience and points because he just showed up to confirm that the bomber went down. Oh well. And he goes home. Uh, clean up. Alright, so the remainder are of our Stoffel is going to make it to the formation, finally. Now, they have a delay marker on them, which means they will not come in on turn one. They will come in on turn two. Now, I'm going to go ahead and spend a tactical point so that I can bring them in level as opposed to low. So we'll put that little marker there to remind us. Now, here is an interesting rule. And I did not know this until I just now was kind of reading through. And I don't think I did this right on my first mission. Uh, page 26 of the advanced rules. Uh, if the group... No group enters on mission turn one. Skip ahead to the first turn that fighters enter. And here's the big one. Do not perform escort actions, flak, or cohesions on, cohesion on skipped turns. Uh-huh. Okay, so there's a little persnickety rule uh, I bet a lot of people have missed before. <laughs> I bet I'm not the only one. Um, but that is it. We have made it to the... We are going to make it to the formation box. That ends the vector uh, part of this game. And I'm going to go ahead and break up this video. It's 18 minutes long here I like because I, I have to edit these things and I fall asleep if it's like a 30-minute video. So I'm going to keep soldiering on, but I'm just going to cut the video up and uh, edit them separately. So thanks for watching. Join us next time when we actually attack this box here with my three um, F-190s, including two experts. Let's see if we can't bring yet another bomber down. All right, but thanks for watching.